this is a family farm belonged to Uncle Fred. And one time, my, my dad, years ago, it's a cattle farm though. Uh, I was looking for some place in my older years to uh, retire. So I like I like wine. I like wineries. I thought we would uh, start a winery. Uh, and some years ago, we we uh, built a, a pavilion along the Tiger River for uh, we started renting it out for weddings, family reunions, and it grew and grew and grew and. Uh, I did the math one time. We were getting five, six, seven thousand people a year here for those type of events, but not getting a whole lot of money out of them, frankly. So uh, uh, I, I decided to do the winery, and uh, but doing those events down there, I don't care what was going on. Uh, somebody, sometime during the day, would come up to me and ask me if uh, I knew where they could get moonshine at, and I did, but. Uh, <laughs> You know, if you live around here, everybody knows, but, but I wouldn't tell them. But, but anyway, it, it planted a seed in my mind to uh, uh, do the still where we start making. And, and we make a, uh, we call it moonshine, but it's not really that. Moonshine to most people means a prohibition type thing made with bags of sugar. We go back a generation before that and make a uh, all grain whiskey that would have been made back in colonial times. And we do it in the uh, style of Ireland and Scotland with a pot still two times through the still. And we formally started the winery on May 21st, 2011. So three plus years ago. Very. Yeah, and that's when we opened it up. We had a smashing opening day. We had about 800 people here. We thought, oh my gosh, there really is a need. I mean, people want something new and different. Well, this wine is ready to go. Other than a little bit of filtering. Ah, that's good. <laughs> we make a really good reason here. We got get a lot. It's kind of crisp. It's kind of dry. Uh, it's two years in a row. It's come out like this. I hope next year's the same thing. But uh, keep my fingers crossed. It's always different. I think one of the things that does surprise him is the um, environment that we have here. And one of the things that he had the passion for the wine when we went out to California. I'd been working hard all week, so I had the passion for relaxing. Yeah. <laughs> so what we did is we spent a lot of time looking at the different uh, wineries out there and saying, where do we see families? You know, where do we see something where it might be too sophisticated that people are afraid to go into the building? You know, what are the types of grounds that we liked? Uh, where, where did we think people could truly relax and what would fit in West Virginia? So we spent a couple of years really looking at what the different features that we liked of these different wineries and then came back and started talking through what we wanted here. We clearly wanted a family-oriented type of environment. We loved, what was the place out there that we loved where they? There's a winery called uh, V. Satui. Yeah, and they have a, a grounds out there that's almost like a, a park type of atmosphere. You can get cheese and wine and go sit out with your family in, these, in this wonderful place, you know, around trees and occasionally they have bands and things like that. So we, we did that with our courtyard out here, which is something very different, um, you know, from other wineries in the area or in the state. And then, um, you know, we tried to map it against all the things that you could do too in terms of the weddings and the, just creating an ancestral sort of place where people could come and feel like they had a home. And so we, we feel glad that, um, I think we've been able to create that. And we really like that because it's the atmosphere and the wine that, that brings a special touch, I think.